determine the volume of a cone pictured here, we use the formula V equals one-third pi R squared H, where R is the length of the radius of the base and H is the height. So this would be the radius and this would be the height. Notice how I also gave the formula for the volume of a cylinder. The reason I did this is if the radius of the cone and the cylinder are the same and the heights are also the same, notice how the volume of the cone would be one-third the volume of the cylinder, which means if we turn this cone over and filled it up with water exactly three times, it would exactly fill a cylinder again with the same radius and height. But for this example, we want to determine the volume of a cone with a radius of eight centimeters and a height of eighteen centimeters. So we'd have the volume is equal to one-third times pi times the length of the radius squared, which would be eight centimeters squared. Notice how I am leaving the units in the formula, and I'll show you why in a minute. And the height would be eighteen centimeters. So to evaluate this, we'll first simplify the exponents. So we'll have one-third times pi times, this would be sixty-four centimeters squared times eighteen centimeters. And before we multiply though, we do want to try to simplify. So if we put this eighteen centimeters over one, notice how three and eighteen share a common factor of three. There's one three in three and six threes in eighteen. So now we'll go ahead and multiply. Let's take a look at the units first. Notice how we have centimeters squared times centimeters, which would be centimeters cubed, which reminds us that the volume is measured in cubic centimeters. And now we have pi times sixty-four times six. Now to find the exact volume, we'll leave pi in our product. So let's go ahead and put the pi here. And now we'll find the product of sixty-four and six. So I have sixty-four times six, that would be twenty-four, carry the two. Six times six plus two, that'd be thirty-eight. So the exact volume would be three hundred eighty-four pi cubic centimeters. Now let's go ahead and go to the calculator and get a decimal approximation for this, as well as verify that we did evaluate this correctly. So we'll first go ahead and type in 384 pi. The pi key on this calculator is right above the exponent key. So we'll press second and then the exponent key to access the pi. Press enter. So we'll say the volume is approximately 1,206.4 cubic centimeters. But now to verify that we did simplify this correctly, let's go back to the calculator and enter in one-third pi times eight squared times eighteen. And since we did get the same decimal approximation, this verifies that we did find the volume correctly. So what this tells us is that approximately 1,206.4 little cubic centimeters would fit inside this cone. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.